Here's everything you need to know about lists in FunnelKit automations. When you send an email to a contact using FunnelKit automations, in the footer of every email will be a link that they can click to unsubscribe. This is a requirement by law. When your contact clicks the unsubscribe link, they'll land on a page that looks like this, which allows them to manage their email preferences. To do that, under here, they can just check which mailing list they want to get emails from and then click update. They also have the option to unsubscribe from all emails if that's what they want to do. Allowing your contacts the flexibility to manage which emails they receive from your brand is a great way to reduce the amount of people that are unsubscribing from all your emails. And as you can see, the purpose of lists in FunnelKit automations is to allow your users to manage which emails they receive from your brand. On my screen is a coach who helps busy entrepreneurs build better habits to achieve their business goals. Let's brainstorm some mailing lists that would be appropriate for this business here. The best way to think about lists is that these are the different types of emails or topics that your business sends. So the first type of email that this business could send is a daily email that gives one tip to build better habits. Next is a weekly digest email sent at the end of every week to summarize what happened in the business that week, as well as things in the community and things related to building better habits. We could categorize these types of emails as being related to the frequency a user likes to receive emails in their inbox. The coach will also want to let people know when they release a new YouTube video. And this type of email is an alert. As somebody that is helping people build better habits, there will be a lot of resources that the coach comes across during their study that they'll want to share with their audience. So a topic that they will discuss within their emails would be habit building and resources. One way the coach might become more personable to her list is to share personal updates about their life. And sharing their personal life would be a topic for emails. Most often, you'll find that the majority of your lists will be made up from the different content topics that you discuss in your emails. Because not all your users are interested in all the topics that you talk about. Another thing to consider with lists is that not everything will be a list because some things will be better suited to audiences. For example, you'll likely want to have a list of people that have bought from your website and a list of people who are still yet to purchase as well as getting a list of people that have bought a specific product. You might also want to segment out your contacts based on their purchasing habits. While lists and audiences are both tools in FunnelKit automations to allow you to group your contacts, with lists, your contacts can manage what lists they're on, and you can think of lists as being a bit more static. Whereas with audiences, you define a set of filters that a contact needs to meet and then they're added into that audience automatically. So audiences are a little bit more dynamic and the contact does not have control over what audiences they're in. To learn more about audiences, see our separate video on audiences. Now that you know the purpose of lists in FunnelKit automations, let me show you how to set them up. Here in FunnelKit automations, under contacts, click on lists. In this example, there's two mailing lists currently in here, one for the daily email for habit tips and the other one for new YouTube video alerts. We can see what date the list was created and we can also see how many contacts are in the list and how many of those contacts are currently subscribed. Let's create our remaining lists. I'll click on create list, add my weekly digest, I'll add my description and it's worth noting here that the name of your list and description is what your contacts will see when they're managing their email preferences. Down here, this would be the list name and the list description. And I'll repeat the process for the remaining lists. With all of our lists now created, generally speaking, when a contact subscribes to your mailing list, you'll want to add them to all of your mailing lists and then they can use the manage email preferences page to remove themselves from lists that they don't want to get emails from. To add our existing subscribers to these new mailing lists, we can use bulk actions. Clicking here, I'll click create bulk action, name our bulk action, click add. We want to add all contacts in this example, so we're not going to apply any filters. I'll click next. For the action, we are adding to lists. I'll add all three new lists here by entering their names and adding them. And save. Then I'll click next. I'll review this and click start. Here we can see that process completed. So if we go back to lists, we can see the stats have updated. And while we're talking stats, let me clarify what subscribed and unsubscribed means and what it remains when somebody removes themselves from one of your lists. 
This is the hierarchy of funnel kit automations. So if a contact is subscribed inside of funnel kit automations, they're subscribed at the CRM level. A contact does not get subscribed to each mailing list and then unsubscribe themselves on the list level. They're either subscribed or unsubscribed and that's based on their status inside the CRM. But they can remove themselves and add themselves to your different lists through the manage email preferences page. This is why if you click into a single contact profile, up the top here is one status. They're either subscribed or unsubscribed or unverified or bounced. It's on the CRM level. So we have 37 contacts in our CRM and 17 of them are subscribed inside of Funnel Kit Automations. That means 20 users are unsubscribed from our CRM entirely and not receiving any of our emails. And comparing the stats between our new lists and our existing lists, out of the 37 contacts overall, five of them have removed themselves from both of these lists. And out of the 17 contacts actively subscribed in Funnel Kit Automations to any list, and three of those users have removed themselves from these lists. Moving forward, obviously when a contact subscribes to your list, you don't wanna go and use bulk actions to add them to your list. You wanna use an automation. Let's go ahead and set that up. So down here under Funnel Kit Automations, click on Automations, then Create Automation and start from scratch. Name your automation and click Create. Then select an event and set it to contact subscribes and click done. Then click back on the event that triggers the automation. And we want to allow contacts to come in here multiple times because contacts will subscribe and then unsubscribe and then want to resubscribe in the future when they want to receive your content again. And every time they do that, we want them to be able to enter this automation and then get subscribed to the mailing lists. Next, we'll click the plus sign and then add an action and under automations, we want to add contact to list and click done. And inside here, you can search and assign multiple lists that the contacts will be added to. I'll go ahead and just add them all now. And with all five lists now there, I'll click save. Then I'll activate this automation. And now all future contacts that subscribe to Funnel Kit Automations will be added into all of those lists. And I'm not going to leave you hanging. You're probably wondering where you can customize this manage email preferences page that's come up quite a bit in today's video. Let me show you what you need to know. In your WordPress admin area under Funnel Kit Automations, click on settings and then click on subscribe page. And the first setting here is where you select what page inside of WordPress you want to designate to be the manage email preferences page. And then under that, you get a list of short codes that you can use in that page to dynamically output the contacts information. When you install Funnel Kit Automations, this page should automatically be created for you. So you should see that there. And if you click here, that should take you into editing that page. And clicking here is the equivalent as if you were to go to pages and then all pages and then find that page, which in my case is this page here. If I click into here, now, because you have shortcodes available to you to build your page, you can design your page in your favorite page builder. So if you just wanted a simple page using the block editor, this would do. However, in my case, I'm using Bricks Builder. So if I click edit with bricks, I designed my page, added a text block, and then inside here, I'm just using those shortcodes. And on the front end, this is what that page looks like. Returning to the subscribe pages options, let's continue. Under list management, you can enable and disable the ability for your contacts to manage their lists. By default, this is currently enabled, but if we disable this and click save, the manage email preferences page would only allow your contacts to fully unsubscribe from your CRM. When you choose to allow your contacts to manage the list they're in, you then are able to manage which of those lists they can remove themselves from. So out of the five lists we currently have here, we only allow our contacts to remove themselves and add themselves to the first two lists. And that's why we currently see two lists and not five. You can also choose to show the contact only the lists that they're currently in. And then under that, you have the ability to change some text labels. If you're an existing Funnel Kit user and you have a question, then feel free to reach out to our support. If you're not already experiencing the power of Funnel Kit automations, then definitely check our pricing plans or talk to our pre-sales team. We're happy to help.